Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a post on your Google business profile in just a few simple steps. There is two ways that you can do this. You can type in google.com slash business and sign into the account where you have registered your Google business profile on. Or number two, if you are already signed into that account, you can just type your business name into the search bar and Google will automatically pop up your Google business profile. And in case you do have multiple different Google business profiles, you can just come back to the Google business manager here, click manage now, and you will be taken in a section where you can see all your businesses and you can select the one just by clicking see your profile. Once you click view profile, you will be taken to this section. Or if you directly type your business name and you're signed in with your account that's associated to your Google business profile, it will automatically take you here. In this instance, I'm using Flooring Contractors Daytona Beach. This is one of the things that I built up recently about two weeks ago as an example to show you how to make a post. These are the options that you will be presented with. In order to make a post, you need to click Add Update. Here you have three different types of updates that you could do. You can add a post update, you can create an offer, or you can add an event. Since we're adding a post update, I'm going to click add update on the top section here you can drag a photo which will be a thumbnail for your post and you can add a description you're allowed to have up to 1500 characters and you can choose a cta button i just came up with something off the top of my head it doesn't necessarily have to be what i just put in here you can come up with whatever type of a post that makes most sense for your business i just came up with something off the top of my head here but you can create whatever makes sense for your business. For this example's sake, what I have is get your free flooring consultation today. Thinking about upgrading your floors, we make the process easy and stress-free with a free consultations. Whether you're considering hardwood, vinyl, tile, or any other flooring option, our expert team is here to guide you every step of the way. Call us today to schedule your free consultation. Now on the bottom here, this is your CTA buttons. You can actually set up a booking link, order online, buy, learn more, sign up or call now. In my case, it's a call now. We're trying to get them to call us. Number automatically gets fetched from your Google business profile. And lastly, we're going to upload the thumbnail here. When you're uploading a thumbnail, you don't ever want to have a default uh, screenshot or whatever the default file says. You want to always have a keyword included in here. So in our case, I'm going to type a keyword, Loring Contractor Daytona Beach free station and just load that up. Before you also upload the photo here, make sure that you are geotagging this photo. I have made a dedicated tutorial on how you can geotag your images for free. Geotagging your images helps Google pinpoint the location of exactly where the area was where that photo was taken and it is part of a ranking signal which contributes to help Google learn more about your business and area of your business's operation. Now that we have completed this process, we're gonna go ahead and click post. Now, once you make a post, it has to go through an update process. Every time it will say your update is being reviewed. If it isn't approved, you'll receive an email. It always says that you just give it a couple of minutes and you should be able to see your post on your Google business profile. As you can see, my post has gotten approved and this is what it looks like. And if you scroll all the way down in here, you'll be able to see where the posts start to populate. I'm gonna give you some best practices from my experience of doing this for over 10 years. Keep your posts short and to the point. Also use eye-catching visuals relevant to your business and always customize your CTA buttons to match your post objective. Lastly, avoid using hashtags as they do not improve your rankings and it does not work like a social media. Google profile does not care about your hashtags to rank your Google business profile in a local packs. So avoid that. Remember, your standard posts will be visible for seven days. Your event posts 
will remain until the event is over. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. You can use everything in here and I'm also going to give you the written details in the description below of this video. For now, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.